Hi, Glenn Wallace here with the Strymon Flint. Um, this is not a demo or a review because this pedal's been out for a bit. There's tons of uh, reviews and demos there. Uh, I just want to show people the way I like to use the pedal because I think it's a really fantastic way to use this pedal. So, as you know with the Strymons, you can hook up the favorite switch or an expression pedal. You can set it up to tap tempo, uh, to recall a favorite preset, or you can assign the expression pedal. I've got my Dunlop Mini over here. Uh, you can assign it to a specific knob on the pedal. And just in case you don't know how to do all of that, I'm going to show you exactly what you do to get the setup that I have. So the first thing you want to do uh, is make sure that your expression pedal output is assigned to an expression pedal. The way you do that is you flip these two switches up, the reverb uh, all the way up to the top, or the tremolo all the way up to the top, and the reverb all the way up to the top. Power the pedal off, plug the adapter back in, hold in these two switches. That will set it to expression pedal mode. Then next, you want to set it to trails mode. So same thing, power the pedal off, hold in the reverb switch when you power it on, and you will be set to trails mode. And I'm sure everyone knows what trails mode is, but just in case you don't, check it out. It keeps going. That's what trails mode is. Okay. Then last, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have uh, the expression pedal set to the decay knob. So you power the pedal off, hold in the tremolo switch, and roll the decay knob, and that will assign the expression pedal. When it's toe down, the expression pe uh, pedal will be controlling the decay knob all the way up here, and as you go toe back, it goes all the way back here. So all of that is in the manual, but you know, there's a lot of stuff in the manual, so if you want to know how to do that, that's how you do it. All right. So I'm going to set the decay knob all the way up. And here's why I like to use this pedal this way. I don't really do a lot of tap tempo tremolo anymore. Sometimes it's just kind of difficult to tap in, and I'm already doing a lot of tap delay, unless you have you know, a MIDI switcher or you know, a pedal like a Mobius where you can set it to certain tempos. It can be hard to do during a live situation. Every tap tempo is a little bit different, and uh, every person is a little bit you know, better or worse or just, you know, not all of us can just tap it in the right way. I'm sure you've done the thing where you've tapped in dotted eighths and it sounds just completely chaotic and you're like, oh, what happened? So I don't mess with the tap tempo tremolo. I just set it you know, to a sound that I like because it doesn't have to be rhythmic. It can just be tone coloring, you know, regular tremolo. Just gives it a little extra something and, uh, well, just real quick on the Strymon Flint, uh, if you are always looking for the next best tremolo, this is the best tremolo on the market to me. I think it is absolutely fantastic. I have used a ton of tremolos. I've used the Diamond, the Empress, um, uh, Black Cat. I, I, there's a ton in there that I'm not naming uh, that I've used, you know, modded TR2s. This is the best one that I've found for the money. It is expensive, but this is one of those expensive pedals that I think is worth every penny. All right, moving on. On the reverb, the reason I set it to the decay is because a lot of the stuff that I do, um, I'll have to do these real patty, you know, kind of sounds. And, you know, where you're swelling in maybe on a chord. And I need it to keep going. Uh, by the way, the 70s and 80s style reverb on the Flint, when you set the decay all the way, it's pretty much infinite. And that's another reason why I use the pedal like this. The 60s one sounds cool, but it won't trail on forever like those two do. I just do the 80s. Uh, I think it has the most kind of patty, ambient, just washy, spacey. I'm using all sorts of technical terms here, you can tell. But it has that sound that'll just keep going and just space. Sounds like space. It's awesome. All right. So, but sometimes you got to come off of it. And that's where the trails mode comes into effect. <clears throat> so one of the things that I do, one of the bands I play in, I'll have this on, I'll have the decay all the way up, the treble on, and then over here I've got an Earthquaker Dispatch Master. You can't see it, but that's turned on. So what I do is, <clears throat> I'm playing nothing. I'm playing just like sounds. And then I've got to hit this. I've got to hit this little line in here. 
I've got to hit this line in here. I'm going to try to shut these pedals off as I'm talking, but there might be some audio bleed. So I'll do this little line. So I've got to do that, and the part that helps with having the trails mode and that uh, decay on uh, you know infinite is that when I shut it off, none of these other guys get caught up in the reverb, so it doesn't get because listen, this gets insane. I have no idea what I just played. I, that was completely indecipherable. So you can keep that from happening. Um, and then I've got the Earthquaker Dispatch Master on afterwards to keep the kind of, you know, this, you know, washed out reverberous, you know, echoey sound going. And then when I get back to the verse, um, I'll usually dip the expression pedal down, turn the reverb back on, and then I can kind of start fading it back in. And I can do the same thing. Now, the part that I like is that I can either turn the reverb off or I can simply just go. So if I still really want it in there for the sound, because it is an excellent sounding reverb, uh, I don't have to turn it off and I can keep all those, um, you know, uh, chords that were coming after, um, I can keep that sound of the reverb on them. It is a little more abrupt sounding, but, you know, different songs, different sounds, you need to get different stuff. Anyhow, there's really not too much more to say. Um, yes, there are pedals with all these crazy MIDI presets and, you know, MIDI switchers and loop switchers and all sorts of stuff, and it's really quite an investment, though. You know, some of these pedals that have those features you know, they're up in the anywhere from three to $500 range. Then you've got to get the switcher, which can be anywhere from three to, you know, seven, 800, and depending on if you're buying new, used. Then you got to have all the cords to hook it up. And then you got to figure out how to use the damn thing. And some of them are user friendly, some of them are not, but they all take a little bit of figuring. This is very, very easy. If you want to have tremolo, you need to have these big spacey reverb washes, but you need to be able to shut it off in the middle of the live performance because you're playing and you're singing and you're doing all sorts of stuff. This is probably one of the best setups uh, you can do for that. So, I hope you got something out of it. You should try it out if you've got a Strymon Flint and an expression pedal. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.